Hey everyone, I'm Lynn and I'm the plant care specialist with Just Add Ice, here to share a few plant care tips with you. In this video, we're going to look at what to do with your flower spikes when they are pretty much done. Orchids have two basic life stages, the flowering stage and the vegetative stage. When your blooms are wilting and falling off, that means that your orchid is ready to enter its vegetative stage, where it's gonna spend a lot of time focusing on leaves and on roots. As you can see, our orchid here, the blooms are starting to wilt and they will eventually dry up and fall off. Before the spike turns brown or yellow though, we can actually trim it and try to get a few more flowers out of it. So what we're gonna look for are the dormant nodes on the still green flower spike. Your nodes are going to be the scale-like growths on the spike where flowers did not grow this last round. After you locate the topmost node, we're going to trim above that about one inch using a set of sterilized scissors. You can dip them in something like rubbing alcohol or a weak bleach solution just to prevent the spread of disease. Our top node is here. We're gonna go just above it. Make sure you remove your clip and we're gonna give it a cut. From here, if your plant hasn't entered its vegetative stage, it will produce a little flower spike over here and give you some more flowers. Now we can do the same with the other two flower spikes, but it's really gonna be your decision. If you want your plant to focus on quality and not quantity, you might wanna take these other two spikes down. I'm gonna go ahead and take the small one in front just cause it's smaller. So I'm going to go ahead and trim this one just like the other. Find that top node, unclip, and trim. But this one, we're going to take all the way down, just down to the base of the plant where the leaves are coming. Okay. I'll explain the process of removing uh, the whole spike with our next plant. Now that we've trimmed the spent blooms on this plant, hopefully it's gonna produce some more flowers for us. If not, we have to trim the spikes all the way down to the base of the plant, which we're gonna talk about with this one. Remember, since you're moving to a new plant, sterilize your scissors before touching this plant. As you can see, this spike is turning yellow and then brown, which means that it's not gonna produce more flowers. So we're actually gonna cut it all the way down to the base. That way, this plant can actually focus on keeping these flowers around longer. From here, you can either unclip your old spike or you can remove the whole stake. I'm Lynn, the plant care specialist at Jess at Ice. I hope that this information has been helpful. Be sure to check out our website and our social media pages for more tips and tricks regarding your orchids.